Good morning. Probably way too early, but here we go anyway. My movie's called Under Angels. It's a supernatural psychological horror thriller, and here's the hook. A brilliant codebreaker named Pete commits suicide in order to save his wife from the Grim Reaper. But the Reaper denies Pete his suicide, trapping him between life and death and forcing him to crack one final code that could possibly save his wife and free his own soul. The movie takes place in Los Angeles and around Fort MacArthur, which is the real-life army base near the port of L.A. It's the location of the K-9 Command Unit, where the United States Army used to train dogs for World War II. A lot of people don't know that. Before he was recruited as a codebreaker, Pete was one of these dog trainers at Fort Mac. And after his suicide is denied, he follows his dog beyond the grave and into a purgatorial maze of tunnels under the city of L.A., in search of that puzzle that can possibly save his wife, Beatrice. She is the heart of the story. The irony here is the villain is a dark agent by the name of Rip Grimmer. Sort of an encrypted manifestation of Grim Reaper. Switch the letters around. Grim Reaper, Rip Grimmer. So you can see our tormented codebreaker can't even face death itself without first needing to decrypt it and make sense out of the whole thing. At the core, Under Angels is a story about love. It's about choice. It's about regret. It's about second chances, and it's ultimately about redemption. As far as tone and style go, I see the dark grittiness of Fight Club. I see the intellectual mystery of a beautiful mind with all the mental wordplay and puzzles. And I see the twisted, loopy, psychological horror of a 1990 movie called Jacob's Ladder. If you like these movies, you like the way they make you think, you like the way they make you feel, you'll love Under Angels. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day.